Morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Ears to the East. Uh, we've got a bit of a bit of a nice, kind of not nice debate, topic, uh, discussion, whatever you want to call about it today. Um, the reason why I brought Wouldn't these... call it nice. <laughs> well, we don't we don't know yet. It depends how this conversation pans out. Um, but the the subject of this one is uh, one of the channels that we all sort of like really look up to. We we all have done either reactions in the case of me and Benedict and a lot of bands that, that Howard uh, reviews and studies through his channel all go through this channel. And the channel itself is called The First Take. Now, there's you know there's, them. The, yeah, like one of the, yeah, you know them. They're like one of the you know biggest, them. You know them. Um, one of the biggest music channels out there um, that predicts obviously shows off Japanese artists or sometimes not even Japanese artists. They've been doing quite a few Western artists recently um, on the channel doing first takes of particular songs that could be very... Can, can, I, can I just say before we go any further, um, if anyone can hear snoring in the background, it's literally not because I'm bored of this conversation. My, my friend is <laughs> is here and asleep <laughs> in the room. But anyway, carry on. He needs a guest appearance now. We That's need a second, we need a sec we need like a second camera. He's like a yeah. fish, like half of his brain is sleeping and half of his... <laughs> James, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, carry, but, please do carry on. <laughs> so, if you can hear snoring, that's why. Um, the reason why we're talking about this, and the reason why I wanted to bring it up with you guys so much, is because I kind of want your guys' takes on a particular video. Now, I am going to name the channel. Uh, the video that dropped is a from a guy, a channel called Wings of Pegasus, that dropped a video recently, which is like how the first take is fake. That it's been misrepresenting everything about itself uh and he did a massive long 40 minute video actually breaking this down going through some points and stuff like that um and i, I just kind of want to know what you guys thoughts on it because i mean we spoke a little bit like about this before we went live um and i know howard has some particular thoughts on it benedict i think not so much so he's just the middle man i think in this conversation right now uh and i kind of feel along the lines of howard where i feel like this video i feel like he does raise some points I feel like some of his points are warranted, but also like Howard's going to probably explain in a minute. It feels disingenuous, uh, clickbaiting, shall we say, a little bit. Maybe I can throw in my two cents before Howard will yeah, start. Yeah, if yeah, he's yeah go with for us it. Still, because oh, I think, yeah. Oh, no, he, he's he, gone. Or, <laughs> he's he'll gone. Be, he, he'll be so back, hopefully. He cannot talk. All right. Um, <laughs> That's yeah, a blessing, know, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> But go on, tell, tell us I haven't seen videos. this actual video about the first take, but I know this channel and I've seen some of the videos and, um, you know, the takeaway I have from his videos is, you know, he's not really wrong about what he's saying, but he's also taking it very, like, like very nitpicky and like you define something here and this is not the correct definition. So therefore something is fake or like that's he's like very specific about some things which i'm not 100 percent agreeing on and you know with the first take i've seen some of the videos i know that it's not like really they come there they do just one take and then they upload that file you know obviously yeah. that's not how it's gonna go down I don't have all the background infos, but that's kind of obvious to me. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, his thing was uh, like this was all done in one single take, all live. Uh, and I know the channel's called the first take, but you know, you only need to look at the first take enough to know that you know that's not. But done. you know, I don't actually know what he's saying in the video. But is he saying like they are doing multiple takes? Uh well, basically, yeah, basically saying that they might, they might they might be doing double takes. Obviously, he's complaining that a lot of the girls weren't singing like the back and vocals. Is obviously you can hear like back and vocals over a song when obviously you can't do back and vocals and sing. Yeah. yeah. So therefore, it's not authentic because it's not you know the back and vocals are, are on the song. You know, there's obviously some artists who use like a built-in auto tune when they're singing as well. So he's turned around and said like that doesn't feel authentic uh, for some of the artists that want to use it. Okay. Um, and then he was going, look, there's there's lots of times here where the girls aren't singing like particular parts. Like um, there was an at he used an example of uh, Atarashi Gako, where um, they were singing and the backing girls were singing as well. But there was a particular spike where they go really high, which they kind of were kind of glossing over a little bit. So you obviously know mm -hmm. that was like pre-recorded and put on to that 
uh, particular segment. Uh, so it is like half an hour. I'd like the thing with this is, is he's not wrong. If you want to look at under this, this under like a, a massive, you know, scru under mass scrutiny, you could turn yeah. around and say that this guy is one hundred percent correct. Uh, in which case he 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 is because obviously you know those things are pre recorded. But if you want to come into this, um, looking at the first take uh, and maybe not being so harsh on them. Uh, you can see yeah, I mean, why. It also, it kind of depends because I think it's unfortunate that Howard uh, kind of was kicked out here. But um, it kind of depends on like what is the premise that or like the promise that the first take is giving you. Because, you know, just because you name your channel the first take doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> Yes, I mean, it uh, kind I of mean, gives you an idea, but it's not an actual definition. So, yeah. I mean, we want we wanted to talk obviously a bit about Howard Hay before he's just left us. Uh, we just said at the beginning before we started recording this, like the, one of the the first take is the way that it's translated. Um, from what I heard from Howard himself, he said he said that this guy's interpreted it different, or he's had a bad translation of what the first take actually turns around and, and offers itself. Uh, he did use the example of the first take video um in the video which is like the you know the um the trailer which it says in english through the first take we do it in the first take we do we do this and that and that um mm. and that's kind of where he's basing the assumption of oh well they say it in this trailer so therefore they're lying to you um but i've never gone into the first take uh any musical professional has never gone into the first take and gone well that's all, that's done in one take you, you, you know it you know it's not yeah. Uh, and let's be honest, um, I mentioned this in my Discord as well, and he did touch on it in his video. You know that these big companies that own these artists that they're contracted to, you know the likes of like Sony Japan, all these big hitters, they're not going to let a bad video come yeah. out on a 10 million sub channel, which they could potentially lose or gain millions from like the from that particular artist that they have contracted. That's yeah. not going to happen. Of course, they're going to polish it. That is, I wouldn't say that's fake. It kind of is. Again, it's really how you yeah, kind of look I, at I see, it. I see what you mean. But yeah. I mean, I just saw the, the trailer that <laughs> they back. had here. Hey, Howard, how are you? Hey. <laughs> Welcome um, back. I, I, think, I think that um, maybe my friend's phone may be connected to my Wi-Fi because the box is doing some funny things. Um, <laughs> he's hacking you he's taking yeah, you stealing all yeah, your personal he's, data he's, he's, he's bitcoin mining me um i don't know it's just like it's suddenly like it keeps on like the ports keep reconnecting for some reason he's, anyway. he's taking every single one of your 12 I, yen in your bank yeah so to quickly <laughs> fill you in where howard we were just talking about the the actual like definition that the first take was giving on that channel where we were talking about that there might be have some okay. different translations Oh, okay. Um, well, do, do you want me to jump in here? Considering I haven't yeah, heard, yeah, maybe you can yeah, fill yeah, us yeah, in. Yeah, you, you, you okay, can, um, uh, you can give us your take before we continue. Okay, so um, assuming that uh, my Wi-Fi doesn't cut out, which probably will. Um, so let, let me just give that a try. Um, so right, I, I'll try and address this as uh, best I can um, because I feel like there's only a limited amount. Of, there's a lot of details to cover, but there isn't. This kind of hits a dead end. This whole subject. So basically. I first heard about this when the gentleman who made this video of saying first take is fake, he contacted me on Twitter and said, I see you follow the first take. You should check out my video explaining why it's fake. And immediately that to me rang as well. well okay, this is like, like, this just feels like someone plugging his stuff. But I checked him out. He had like million, yeah, half a million subscribers. Okay, big guy. But okay, fair enough. So he clearly cares about this. Um, but okay. Anyway, the thing is, I didn't watch the whole video. I watched I watched a fair amount of it, and it starts very much, as you know, expect a popular video to do with like a lot of, this is the most fake thing I've ever seen. Cool, cool, cool. Um, now, first of all, with the description of the video, I spoke to um, a Japanese person who's one of the main moderators on my Discord, um, who explained, as I think a lot of us knew, that the original, you know, the original premises, the premise of the channel um, was less filter not no filter less filter in other words this is going to be a bit more raw than what you're used to um which i is it's not saying no filter at all now the channel has kind of given and i've actually taken the piss out of the first take a lot myself in the past for the fact that they do things that are not very realistic you know like this idea of like the plain white room is kind of funny and the fact that when they go on they always have that bit where they walk up in silence and you hear the headphones creaking as they put them on and it's all it's designed just entertainment it's not yeah. really faking anything. 
No, but it's it's clearly it's not the way it would be in a recording studio. Studio. Yes. It's done to sort of ham up this thing of look how raw it is. And so you know, I get it. But I think by the same token, we all kind of know that. And furthermore, if you ask anyone, just someone who knows nothing about music, if you said to them, "Look, if a musician came on here and genuinely screwed up the first take, like forgot forgot the words or something like that, do you think they would publish it?" I don't think there's a single person who believes they actually would. So we all in the back of our heads are aware that there is at least a degree to which this is obviously kind of controlled. Now, the gentleman in question who did this video, obviously he's talking more about general fakery. And this is a whole different level. Now, I understand if something is genuinely fake, if something's claiming, purporting to be one thing and then actually another, yeah, by all means, call it out. Call it out. I'm 100% for that. If someone says this song is live and it's actually not live, call it out. Yep. for that but here's the problem i think that there is a habit where we love to dog pile on things for not being purist we need to step back and ask what is the first take now i have taken my little jabs at the first take in, in the past but i think the one thing we can all accept the first take has increased people's interest in live music whether you say it's not live or not i don't care it has got people going ah do you know what i like hearing artists live i would like to hear more raw music even if this is not it it is a gateway to them listening to new artists to them thinking about live music and i think it has done for all the piss taking i've done about it in the past it has increased a positive attitude towards the music industry yeah they're cashing out on it of course they are it's, it's they're not altruists but it's only got people interested in more artists. It's given us versions of songs we haven't heard before. We all love the piano version of Monochrome by Baby Metal. You know, it's given us these things. Still my are favorite they... version of that song, by the way. <laughs> I mean, if, if those things are not what they purport to be, then apart from the fact that all the artists who've been on there have clearly, you know, kind of lied to us, well, fair enough, we can call that out. We can call all of that out. We were still entertained. That was real. It was real that we were entertained. It's real that a lot of people have seen this channel and become interested in new artists. It's real that a lot of people have heard this channel and thought, do you know what? I'd like to hear live versions who maybe wouldn't have heard live versions before because there's a lot of pop artists on there. That's all real. So you can call out the fakery, but you have to call out the fact that this channel has done a lot of good. And that's the thing which I think gets missed when we come into these things. We get so eager to go, oh, you said this, but you're not right. So, yeah, call it out but acknowledge the other side of because would we be better off without the first take no um so you know uh, i just think that there is a we we need to be careful not to jump so quickly to the these are bad you know this is a terrible thing just say yeah i can and that's the problem for me like again no disrespect to this guy i do not know him and he's obviously very popular so credit to him he's obviously built up a lot of trust with a lot of people i respect that but when your video starts off, oh this is the worst thing i've ever seen it's like okay is it though is it <laughs> no yeah it's like, if, that's the worst, if that's the worst thing you've seen i think happy. that's life's kind of what good. this guy life's pretty good. does right yeah, yeah it might it it might be but again i don't want to judge him because if i have every reason to believe he's a good faith guy just saying what he feels and he could feel really yeah. offended by this and that's absolutely fine but to me i think if we all step back and look at the larger picture the larger picture is we have to acknowledge the first take is good for japanese music it's and it always has been and that's that's Watch, the most what, watching the first take is just common sense let's be honest we like there's not a person fan in the entirety who is actually watching the first take and going oh that's a brilliant first take we love that because we, we all but know I, that's not the case like that's that's it, no secret i actually do you know i mean i will read I, i'll read out what he wrote to me because he wrote um he wrote one reply to my initial comment to him, uh, which was very nice. Um, he didn't follow up on it. I'm guessing he's probably busy, probably has a lot of stuff, fair enough. Um, but he wrote an initial reply, which kind of addressed that. And I did semi-agree with his reply. Um, I'm hoping that my phone does not now cause my internet to crash. Um, <laughs> but um, basically, it was, I mean, okay, so it's taken a while to load. So basically, it was along the lines of, the, in his opinion, he thinks that the vast majority of people who watch the first take, it's a much broader I'm kind of adding a little bit of detail here, fleshing out, but he was kind of insinuating it's a broader audience. And so this broader audience, they're not all people who are going to know about music and they're going to um, sort of misinterpret it and think it's more real than it is. And, you know, he could be right. And again, that's where I agree with him. If there are people who are being misled and they're being told this is what live music sounds like and it's not, I kind of agree. I, th I, I would feel that there's a bit of a professional disrespect there if that's true. And again, I'm not even going to get into that because I'm not even sure that that's really the important point in my opinion here. Um, 
I would agree with him. It would be better if it was live. I don't that's going to be the first take. That's a gimmick. But whatever it is, you want it to be purely live. But I just don't feel that's anywhere near as important as celebrating the good that the channel's done. And I feel like a good video would balance those two things and say, look, this is a good thing, but it should fix this one issue at its heart. That's that's what a video should be. It's like, so we you, love the channel. We you, want this you, channel you, to exist. It needs to fix this problem yeah. so that we can all love it more. So you think he's come into this on to, into this video or made this video daggers out pretty much without taking in like the bullet being coming into it with a neutral head like he's coming I with a purpose. Need, I need to point as you know I've had a very busy week um, and as a result I am putting my hands up and saying look if he's put something in there that negates what I'm saying then I 100% hands up except that there might be something in there that I don't know because I did not watch it all the way through to the end but I just can't help with, and please do tell me because I know you've seen the whole thing. Um, like I watched it because he contacted me and replied to me. I watched it a little bit while I was on the train um, <laughs> rushing around. And yeah, I watched about half of it and yeah. just, yeah, I, I don't know if he's gone daggers out. I think he didn't come across like a bad guy. He just come across like a nice guy. But I think to me, I can't help but feel like the priority was all down to we've been lied to. And I just, I wonder if he knows that, does he know the channel well enough to know the good that it's done? You know, right. I, I, I wonder if he's just not seen that or experienced mm. that. You know, I totally um, agree with you on all of that. But we we were talking about that right before when you came we were, back. Yeah. About like what is the actual promise that the first take is giving you? Because you know okay. they just call themselves the first take. But you know, I've just seen in the video. I haven't watched the video before, but um, they like the first take has like a trailer where they specifically say like no filter, no fake. And that's, you know, something I take in an issue as well, because that's really the misleading part to me. If you wouldn't advertise it as such, I think no one would really care and it probably wouldn't have cost that video even. I, I think the problem is, first of all, now, again, correct me if I'm wrong, that trailer was right at the beginning of the channel. And from what I know, I mean, the person on my uh, moderator on my Discord, who Japanese fella who did the translation, he said that as far as he was concerned, they very clearly said less filter, which again is vague, but vague but true um so he described it as saying less filter and apparently that's how they advertise themselves now so if they've evolved how they describe themselves and take them on the basis of what they describe themselves as now but the counter that i put to that is i asked in our discord when we had a big old conversation about this two days ago i asked everyone how many of you before this conversation started had seen that trailer it's like how many of you had actually watched that trailer you've only gone and watched that trailer because someone's told you it's there and it's a lie if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be talking about that trailer. So, you know, we can go back and find something that was said at the beginning of the channel that claims something different, or we can say, well, we all came to this channel through artists. We knew what we were getting and we felt it. Um, I think it's very so important to term, just to yeah. point out as well that the first take never actually say the word live in any of the descriptions or any of their videos. They never he, actually technically say that they are live. He addressed that with the performance that the gentleman who did the video, he addressed that with the, when he's talked about, they use the word performance. Now, he, again, I want to be careful because I'm not really coming down an opinion on this. I think he's kind of got a point about using the word performance. If you're misrepresenting it is a little bit cheeky, but I, I think this gets where we get into that gray area where it's like, okay, do most of us kind of know that it's a little bit set up? You know, like we said, if, if they fluff yeah. the first take, we don't really believe they put it out. And yeah, I agree with him. I'm trying to find his message where he said that he doesn't think that everyone thinks about it that way. And I think he's kind of right. But ultimately, it still comes back to that thing of people are getting the experience of watching something live um, that at least gives them the experience of live music. You know, it's like a live music simulator. Um, and that's kind of the point. It is a live music simulator. No one's going to the first take for a concert. They're going to it because it's like, wow, I want to check out this different version and stuff. And, um, you know, and they're just kind of like, wow, OK, that's cool. And what do they do? They don't just sit there watching the first take. They go find more of the artist. It's kind of, you know, it's a portal. I, I believe it's I, actually funded by Sony, I, I think. So it's like a yeah. they push. I definitely, they push think, I definitely, yeah, I definitely feel like he's got a balance points but again all the points that he's making out to be the worst things the worst sins ever committed i, I feel like again if you're watching the first take you can or you, you see it you already know uh what you're getting and stuff like that and it's, i don't think it's like how i should point out i don't think it's ever bothered anybody ever before before this video came along and, and said oh these are the worst thing ever um <laughs> May I, sorry, I know I'm talking a lot since I can, but do you, do you mind if I'm, just to give the guy his juice, do you mind if I read out what he wrote? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Um, 
so okay so his first comment hey h saw you, you follow first take did you know it's fake and it's not a genuine live audio only a live video in quotation marks of their performance in quotation marks you can tell by the sound of their introduction and the immediate change that the singing starts check out and then his video now the whole wording of that you can tell he's crammed it into 140 characters but yeah, it, it yeah, did yeah. feel a little bit like watch my video watch my video but again you know he's obviously he's, he's got half a million subscribers he's good at it so i'm not going to blame him for that now i replied to him and i said hey uh, um assume you've seen my videos uh so likely not much more that i can add because i was because i was kind of like addressing the fact that i've talked a lot about the first take and like the thing with the headphones and yeah i know the walk-in sound I, I have commented about the fact that i think it's very fake before um although i never trashed the channel overall i just said that i think there's elements which i find a little bit cringy fake um <laughs> but i said but i think that whether you legitimately in um but whether they legitimately enforce first takes or anything doesn't really bother me. I think we all already assume some suspension of disbelief. I only care if the songwriting rendition is entertaining. Now, he, credit to him, he can, and of course, my reply as well, condensed 140 characters. He came back to me. He said, sadly, not if you look at the comments. This is a good point. Uh, they think it's real. Whereas you would know the the Joe Public, 10 million subscribers don't seem to realize. The site promote it as untouched live recording when it's just a fake auto-tune MV. And this is the comment where, although I respect his reply, this is where I disagree. Now, um, he says, uh, now he says about if you look at the comments, people don't, they think it's real. Um, he might be right. And again, I agree. If people are being deliberately misled, I think that is a topic on which, yeah, maybe they shouldn't be. But again, they are getting the live experience. It's not, it shouldn't be a fake thing, but if it's simulating it and making them interested in live music, great. Um, he says, the site promote it as untouched live recording. Well, as we've already discussed, if you actually look at the details, um, I have it on good authority from my uh, uh, moderator that that's not true. And I've heard other people say as well, it actually says less filter, not no filter in their recent publications if not this video that no one's watched from the beginning of the channel um and then he talks about fake auto -tune where it did MV. say no filter to be fair but apparently yeah but yeah but it, i mean look i mean you can say no channel, no filter can channel, be we said we were going to talk about all music from around asia and all we've talked about is japan which i've got no problem with but you know are we liars <laughs> uh, you know i mean yeah. it's like things evolve they fit you tell us um, yeah, I, I think yeah, no, things... no filter can mean different things as well. It's, it's a very vague terminology. You could be no filter as in the emotion of the room of the performance, or it could be no filter as in the the equipment that's being used and the, the, the effects laid over the voice. Like it doesn't. Yeah, but I feel tell they you... know what they want. Oh, to they 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 it. know what they're doing. The hundred percent. It's so, like walking. It's like walking into a courtroom and going, "Did you try?" To I don't appreciate this, this misleading kind of talk as well. Like, yeah. But, you, that's yeah, misleading. but here's the question is, are you gutted it's misleading because of this video has said it's misleading but did it was it ever a problem beforehand no but if i would have seen that video it would have put me off it's probably putting a lot of people off now which is probably yeah. where howard comes into it with his counter argument that you should take into consideration that's all the true. good that this channel does yes 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 yes, yes. i think if you're if you're put off by that video then uh well first of all i'd say what did you think you were watching? Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. Yeah, if you suddenly find out what you're watching wasn't what you were thinking you're watching, fine. But you were entertained. You got your yes. entertainment. You felt like it was live. Um, you clearly respect the artists. You respect the and if you if they're new artists to you, then all you have to do is click on the link of them actually performing live, which any artist has plenty on YouTube. And if they're not capable of doing it, you'll soon see they're not capable of doing it. So yeah. if you were interested in their first take performance, you interested enough to have any opinion on them, you would have listened to more. And if you listened to more yeah, sure. and they weren't good, you'd know. No. I just so wanted to highlight me, the fact, like for someone like me, the problem is not the actual edits that they do or whatever they do on the performances or multiple takes or whatever they do. That's not the actual problem. But the problem for me is the advertisement of the channel, how they put themselves out and how they describe themselves. Because if you say things like no, blah, 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 then I feel but that's mistaken. Can you, can you not change your channel description over time? Yeah, sure, Must you can. Yeah, so if but they change channel just, I think that's also the point that the guy is making, I yeah. think. No, but I mean, well, I mean, again, I, I'm just going on what I could, uh, there would be, if everyone was like, well, they changed their channel description, and now they say less filter instead of no filter, then I don't think there would be a problem. I mean, well, the yeah. problem is, here's, here's, 
Here's a question uh, for you. One of the points you brought up is that like, there were some people using auto tune, like built in auto tune when they were singing. Like if you go to a live event or something like that, or like an acoustic thing, there are lo- tons of singers that have like a like a, uh, a like a double effect on the microphone, yeah. stuff like that yeah, when they're singing. Like chorus. It, yeah, because it because it adds to the it adds to the experience. So, like you know, if you if you're being cynical, you could turn around and go, "Well, that's fake because there's auto tune, so you're not doing it properly." But then on the other side of it, you'd be like, and "Well, then we you, could you, go you to the argument yeah. is like using a laptop for a backing track on a live show, also uh, fake." I I would I would say that I don't the, think so. Yeah, exactly. there, there's the, the issue with auto tune is if you're using auto tune in a way that you're trying to make it sound like you're not, then you could argue that it's a skill issue. Whereas like it's something like a chorus is a, a sound effect using an auto tune hiding it. No, not like passcode where they would obviously use like uh, tuning effects. Yeah. Um, if you use it and you make it sound like you're not, and you're on a program called the first take. But then again, I do know there are some artists who do perform live on stages at festivals with an auto tuner going through their mic. And I, I kind of agree with a lot of people. I don't think that's really cool. But, you know, I mean, the truth is, I, I, and this is where I might deviate from some people. I would still come back to that thing of, were you entertained? And the point is because music is entertainment. Are you not um, entertained? Yeah. <laughs> we get to a Russell Crowe moment. Are you not entertained? And, you know, I mean, you could you could go the full. You could say the Millie Vanilli. It's like, what what if it's not their voice at all? We've been lied to the entire time. And yeah, I can kind of get that. I do get that. But if you are seeing someone performing and there's an auto tune on it, if it was a live show, I had paid to go to. Yeah, I could see the argument. But if it's a free video on YouTube that is there to give me a live simulation of an artist, and onus on it's free. What are we complaining about again? Can can someone please tell me we're entertained by this free thing and yeah. we're upset about it? Sounds a bit like yeah, I don't know. It sounds like a lack of perspective is going on here, like, like a lack of bigger picture. One of the, one of the things he did bring up on this video was the fact that look, and I said this. This is the first thing I said uh, when they were uh, showed me the video before I even watched this video. Like one of the things he points out was look, the higher ups. Uh, the labels, the people, the execs, the people that make the big box that make all these things, they're not going to let an artist video come out if it's shit. Like well, it's, on a 10 million, on a 10 million subscriber channel, that's not going to, it doesn't matter how good it would you be are, called uh, the last are. take. <laughs> yeah. The last take. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter how big or small you are. That's brilliant. I like that. You know, I like that. In, with um, these companies that have signed artists that potentially make them millions or could lose the millions with, with a performance on a channel that's that big, it's always going to be intervention. You don't need to be a freaking, like, music. My, my understanding that. is, is that the first take, I think it's Sony, I think it's actually a record company who props it up. Um, and as a result, like, it's like, it's mostly artists from their company who go through it or something like that. I never looked into that much because, you know, I wasn't massively into the first take. I just kind of, like, enjoyed it when there was, like, an artist who I liked on there. But I've been told by some people in uh, my Discord who are usually are pretty reliable, that it's like oh it's it's run through a record company thing and so as a result you know yeah i mean we but we all know this we all know it's there as an advertising tool we all know that we all know they're not going to put out a bad take we all know this whole first take thing. you yeah, know and like you know, said if you've got uh, this basically this whole well, argument comes good. down to common sense have you got the common sense to know that this is you know not live and, on the first take and even if we respect that someone who has common sense might just not be able to put one and one together the truth is it only exists to push them onto more of the artist's material. So if the artist is shit, the person is going to find out immediately. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I still can't argue against some of his points, though. I, I think some of I think his arguments, I think they are valid. I, I, I got to give him credit there. Like, I, I read a lot of that. To be fair, uh, I think all of the sing, at least every performance I heard or any singer I've seen on the first take, they actually sound great live if you listen to actual live performances so you wouldn't really need that probably even yeah but anyway well i, I remember hearing the anno and lila spider that that got quite that got quite um should we say off track in places you know that was 
<laughs> that was that wasn't exactly like nailed to the wall. That was that was charming. And you know, some maybe some artists do um do a degree of fakery and some don't. But I get I don't know. I just I can't help but feel that like going back to the bigger picture, is the first take good for music? Yes. The, can it improve? Everything can improve. If you want to give them a nudge in the right direction, go for it. If enough people go, well, look, we're upset about the fact that you might have done X, Y, and Z. And again, I don't I haven't seen all the proof, and I'm not even gonna say that in the same way I'm not gonna judge this guy who made the video. I'm not going to judge the first take and say, oh, you're fake, because I don't know until I've got exact proof of anything. I'm willing to put my hands up and say, I don't know. Um, so either way, you know, if like they said, are, like said, the, the first take is smartly worded. Like if like if you took the first take to court and said, you are not live, therefore you lied to us, like that would never get anywhere in court because they cover their own backs with the, the way that they describe yeah. the first take that it would never fly. <laughs> You make an interesting point there because the, the further extension of that is if you take it to court and let's say even if you won the case, they'd say, what are you going to claim in damages? What did you lose? That's what they'd do. That's that's exactly it. So even if you won the case, you wouldn't get My time! <laughs> but I mean, oh, we are not talking no. about... Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. Like you said, yeah. It, would, it, would, it would never fly. You'd never win that case in a million years, regardless. Be, yeah. Um, you destroyed my faith in music. <laughs> yeah. So I can't click on any YouTube video now, and I keep thinking it's fake. Keep destroyed my whole entire interpretation so, of the world. Again, I have to give like big respect to the guy for mm. making a video. Great for him, good for him. And obviously, like I say, I, I'd never heard of him before, but he's got a lot of subscribers. So I have every reason to believe that he's someone who's built up a lot of trust amongst the community. So I have no disrespect to him. I do feel that the video maybe to me indicates that he. Uh, well, what I saw of the video and the way the first half was very front loaded with this is the worst thing I've ever seen kind of tonage um, gave me uh, a feeling that perhaps the guy hasn't. And please let me know if the second half changes this. But it feels like he hasn't maybe addressed the positive side. And, you know, sort of like the we love this institution and we want to make it better, which I think is the genuine way to approach it. Um, but, there are, yeah, like I said, there are a lot of purists out there, and the way that this yeah. video is, if you want to just be completely live in one take and one first thing, and that's what you thought the first take was, then I can see why you'd have an issue with that. And I do think you, some of his points think are very hardcore valid. purists are watching the first take. You know, I always have to think about like when I was younger and went to not, concerts, not you know, sure. just having heard the studio audio from the CD and then I went to a live show and like they sounded like shit. I also <laughs> felt, felt like, you know, it's kind of fake what they put on the CD. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I did a reaction to a, a recent Lonesome Blue um, live show and oh my God, they were terrible. I was I was shocked at how bad they were live. So... Yeah, I was... I'm rather impartial on them. I'm just kind of sad to hear that because I, I kind of wanted them to do well. I was hoping for them to. That, that was that was the first time I ever seen like a fight, and I was a bit like, "Oh, that is not not good." It's one of those though. Like if I was there at the time and I've had a few beers down me, I'd be coming out of that concert like, oh, "I had a great time," you know. But like maybe maybe being stone cold sto sober, watching it on YouTube, <laughs> I, I you kind of listen to it and you you scrutinize it more, don't you? Because you. you, you how, how many how many people do you even think go to live shows now who don't just quite quickly pop on YouTube and check out a video of the band live first? I feel like almost everyone does that now. Maybe to inform some people, when we were younger, there was no YouTube where we could go to. And <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm, talk I'm talking about how we we're lucky to be in that generation now. We're lucky to be in that world now. Where but, most but again, this is, this, is, this, is, this is why it's so important that record companies and bands themselves, when they drop these kind of videos on YouTube and stuff like that, that sometimes it is tampered and taped because you want the best impression. Now, you could argue that that impression may be, may be false, even to a certain degree. But you'd be stupid when there's hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars switching hands to think that that doesn't happen. Of course it does. It's been happening since like the 1920s when fucking music, you could record fucking music. It's going to continue to happen long after we're dead and buried and in the ground. I, I, I think obviously I think... in general, we all support honesty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I think that um, I think all to be honest, this is interesting. I think all the cases are right. If, the, if it's fake and he's saying it's fake, he's right. What Neon's saying about, you know, realistically, if you genuinely know this stuff, you can obviously... I mean, the first time anyone heard the name, the first take, come on, let's be honest, we all kind of rolled our eyes and went, really? Um, <laughs> yeah, so, no, no, no one was like, really? Like, I mean, you might have thought at first, oh, this is like a challenge show, but then when you see it, you're like, 
Yeah. Um, because the first thing that comes into your head is obviously if the first take was shit, it's not going out. Um, yeah. And, you know, and again, Benedict's totally right. Anyone with any decency would want them to be 100% honest and assume I am only saying based on what their media is now. I'm not going to dig back into time and blame yeah. them for something they put out as a, a press release before. I'm saying yeah, if their that's fair. information now is incorrect, yeah, I think they should be um, <laughs> slapped on the wrist for it. Um, so I think I kind of think everyone's right, but I think all of this pales com in comparison to: Were you entertained? Was it good for the artist? Was it good for the industry? Did it create more fans? Did everyone basically win? Yeah, I don't. I'd like yeah. to again the late the last year or two as well. Year three with all the artists and bands that have been on the first take. Uh, there's no way in hell you look at the first take now and go that's that's live like it, i don't even feel like they're trying to hide the fact that it's a first take live performance like it's so blatantly obvious in, in some things that it's not uh but but again going back to what you said were you not entertained i was i enjoyed it <laughs> what, 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 what have you guys seen blackboard no no um so there's a few other companies have their own equivalents and blackboard's another one it's one that i'm um, tried we talked like, about um, it before yeah yeah um, but the thing is, is, they kind of they go a little bit more into it because you can tell with theirs they're like, well, look, you know, it's it's a live performance, but they sort of they ham it up with a big screen in the background and make it like a music video because they're just like, well, look, you know, let's just um let's just make it what it is. But it is apparently a, a live performance, but I think they're a little bit more on the nose about what it is. But you know, it's it's all that kind of thing. You know, we'll see if he will the guy will put up another video. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't think they haven't. You know, there's not enough. Um, not enough v viewers of uh, Blackboard to okay. um. Uh, throw them out of the, I, like I, this. I, I, I'm waiting for um Wings of Pegasus to put out another video. Don't go to this channel. They are fake. Ears to the east. Yeah, ears to the east. <laughs> all fake. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so as you can see, it's like them performing in front of a, of course, yeah. I picked Trident because it could, but it's just them and like lots of like lights and everything and live performance. But it's like, hey, let's just have a live performance for the audience. Yeah. But it's a little bit more hammed up. Um, it was called Blackboard because originally they performed in front of a Blackboard and they were like, wait, we can do a big video screen. So they kept it called Blackboard, but just had a big video screen. And now the title makes no sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, so actually, I think that one might be Sony. Anyway, I don't know. But yeah, so there you Call go. Call yourself um, green screen. <laughs> yeah. Did I say green screen? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, you said call the channel now green screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm well, I'm looking forward to the expo. Say on yesterday's why yesterday's yeah. fake. Yeah. Exactly. I, I I think it's one of those. I feel I feel like you can't argue with his points. I think they're all valid. And so I I really think this is subjective to how you perceive um the first take to be and just kind of sort of how literally. You take them, um, I think, is the extent. I think every person is going to be different looking at this. Uh, personally, I've never had a problem with, with um, the first take, and I've never watched the first take and gone, oh, that's obviously done in one one take. That's amazing. Um, like It's kind of, again, common sense. I, I know there's fucking people out there that don't have common sense that probably will fall for it and believe, oh, wow, they did that in one take. That's amazing. Um, so maybe and just you... some casual listeners. There's, there's going to be members. casual listeners as well. I don't want to throw them under the bus. There's going to be people who are just casual and don't really think about it and maybe just don't. It's, yeah. It's but with them, again, they're still entertained and they're still going to follow that. If they like it, they're going to follow it on to listening to real live music. Yeah. That's where it's going to go. True. I, th I think there's definitely ways that the, the first take could improve. I think maybe describing their videos a little bit differently as a start. Uh, maybe branching out the content a little bit so you'd have that edited first take. And then yeah. maybe just, actually... Maybe just be actually... careful about how you present yourself to the world. Because if you say the wrong stuff, people will take it the wrong way. Well, if they even are saying the wrong stuff, I, I really yeah, want well, to... They, well, this is it. Legally, they're probably not. Like, they probably... Legally you know... not, but they know, I think, well, they know well, what again, doing, again, that's always... yeah. again, I'm not sure... I, unless someone's going to tell me they know everything that's written on their promo, then we probably should check that. And anyway, we've got 40 seconds left on the free version of Zoom, so we should probably wrap this up. <laughs> well, there you go, then. Uh, from, all, from all of us here, uh, from Benedict to myself, from Mr. Howard to James snoring and giving us his, his lovely tunes in the background of this maybe video. mr wings of pegasus <laughs> to mr wins is pegasus as well uh if 10 seconds it, if you're watching this man great job great video loved it love debate and six like, seconds subscribe keep your ears to the east <laughs> <laughs>
big snore. <laughs> it's not stopping. It's not stopping. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs>